So we all know the best types of urinals is a shared urinals, officially known as trap urinals. Shared urinals boost its impressive low insulation maintenance costs and increased occupancy rate, while providing its users a place to socialize. It is therefore universally appreciated as the best types of urinals. But you know, what else is also the best of its kind? SMG arsenals of NS operatives. It is a universal common consensus that NSO SMGs are the best. Just as shared urinals don't require a precise aim from its users, NSO SMGs don't require precise weapon controls neither, thanks to its accurate recoil patterns. So today, I will walk through each of three NSO SMGs, so you too can appreciate their excellence. So we start off with our first SMG, PMG-100. Looking at the stats, the gun supports the shocking, the shocking 112 maximum damage. For the reference, it is same as the minimum damage of T9 Carp that occurs at 65 meters. Yeah. But it all makes up for it with its fire rate of 896 rounds per minute. So what does this mean? This weapon will punish you for running at low frame rate. With that aside, if you look up the wiki, you see all these negative comments, like this is noticeably a weak SMG. Or in Japanese wiki, some guy says PMG 100 is an industrial waste. But I'm here to prove to you with my gameplay that PMG 100 is more than an industrial waste. Cause look, look how I can kill this guy who is standing perfectly still and kill him again as he is being revived and look at how I can from behind kill those people who got EMP and now I am more than all these people in the tunnel who for some reason only has 1 HP left just tell me if there are any other weapons any other weapons that can do the same thing but of course, sometimes you will flank an enemy and he will turn back and annihilate you. You know, you just you can't compete, you get one shot at. But come on, you're playing NSO. Of course your guns are worse than others. I mean, NSO infiltrator clock has never been effective to begin with. So with the PMG-100, we kind of started to see the NSO weapon design philosophy that is to take another faction weapon, such as TR-SMG Armistice, lower the important stats such as damage, then give some not so important stats like title recoil. And that was the case for PMG-100. And when it comes to PMG-200, you take another weapon, BS SMG series. Basically lower the important stats like magazine size. But then at not as important stats. Like a faster reload. And now we have PMG 200, whose magazine size is dreadful 22. 22 with its damage being 125. For the reference, it is 61, a sidearm with similar damage model. A sidearm has a bigger magazine size. But don't be discouraged by it, cause PMG 200 is a good weapon. It works very well in a chaotic fight, where you can just dip in and out safely to reload after each kill. So don't listen to what other people tell you. For example, this guy says TR-50 magazine, NSO-22 magazine, TR-yes, NS-no, NS-no, NS-no operatives. 
but don't let that discourage you from using this weapon. Just give up assault of ever getting more than one kill without reloading. Because you actually have an average DPS as NS no weapons. Statistically, if you miss more than 45% of shots, you won't be able to kill a heavy assault. And if you potato aim with a hip fire, you're guaranteed to run out of ammo. But it's your fault for not having aim bot level accuracy. And totally not the weapon's fault. You know, just imagine if nanowave armor 20% resistance was still a thing. That would be a nightmare. So these two weapons that I explained were somewhat like existing weapons on other factions. And whether it is a side grade or downgrade, I will visually imply it so that it is left up to your discretion. But unlike these two cheaply copied weapons, PMG-3XB is a completely unique weapon because it is a 3 round burst SMG. And as SMGs are generally a CQC brute force weapons, you might think it's just another industrial waste or NS no weapon. But it actually is good. With its burst fire nature, you can kill a target at the range at which other SMG would struggle at. While its burst fire nature also helps you not waste too much ammo on a single target, so you can expect to take down multiple enemies without reloading. Another thing is that it supports the maximum damage of 150, which is as unimportant as Pop's Dalton, because you still need the same amount of bullets to kill as regular 143 damage weapons. So you can use suppressor or high velocity ammo without worrying about missing out on maximum damage range. Its hip fire is accurate as well to handle CQC fights. So you can pretty much run around with this weapon and deal with any situation that you encounter. And as much as I'm trying to milk the YouTube content by taking a crap out of NS no weapons, it actually turned out to be good so I will move on to the conclusion. So in conclusion, all of these SMGs are fantastic. And now we rank both PMG 100 and 200 at the very top, guys. Very top of the tier list. And PMG 3 XP goes yeah, somewhere around here. 